Welcome back to another episode of Worship Tech Booth Makeover. In this episode, we're going to talk about these new wireless microphones that we've been using for our worship leaders as well as other people who are speaking and need to be amplified during the service. Here to tell us all about these microphones is the one and only Adam Baronic. Hey guys, so Sennheiser sent us these microphones, I think a couple months ago. Um, so they gave us four of these uh, EWD1 series. These are 835 heads on, the, on there, um, as, as well as the combiner for it, and then some like half wave antennas. So um, all in all, I would say first impressions, super impressed. Like these things sound great. They've been reliable. Uh, the battery life on them has been good. We haven't had any dropouts. Setting them up was super easy. I've never seen a system the way that they do it with Bluetooth before where you just have an iOS device and you change all the settings on that. That's how you set it up. Uh, a lot of scientific jargon, nerdery stuff that I didn't quite understand, so I called the uh, one of the guys there, and he explained a lot of things to me that I'm not going to be able to <laughs> explain in this video, but you do get a lot more frequencies that you can use uh, when you use these microphones. There's more to choose from, and I'll leave it at that, uh, and just understand that it's, it's going to be a lot easier to set up these microphones, even if you have more of them. There's more available frequencies when you do it. So, like I said before, really reliable. I enjoyed that. Setting them up, that was really simple to do. And then lastly, one of the best things about these is they are really affordable. You can get a microphone and receiver for $700. Compared to other microphones, we're not gonna do a shootout in this video, but I will say I would, I would find these comparable to a lot of the higher end Sure units. So if you're looking for a budget option that sounds great and that is reliable, I definitely recommend these microphones. So that's the good stuff. I'm not going to say the bad stuff, but just some other things that I noticed about them. The mute button is here on the front. On some of the older units um, or other units that you can find, you can hide the button so that people can't accidentally turn it on or off. This one has it right on the front. Um, that's bad sometimes, like this morning when, when the person doing announcements didn't notice it. It's good for other times, like when I was here doing sound for a conference, and there, were a, there was a panel up here, four people that were all using microphones. So I just asked them, hey, when you talk, turn it on and use it, and when you're done, turn it off. Uh, so that was a really helpful feature, uh, but some situations might not be as good. One of the other things, um, the body of it is, you know, uh, more... It doesn't feel as heavy duty as some other microphones, but you know, for our use case, no one's throwing them around and, and they've, they've been fine for that. Uh, it might just be me, but putting these batteries in sometimes, I, I put it in the wrong way because I'm, I'm not good at reading the plus and minus, but um, that's more of a personal issue. We've always had nightmares in this space with wireless um, units and devices. So how did we make sure that we weren't going to have any RF issues or, you know, just any issues at all with wireless. Because obviously, I, I mean, I use this mic for the first time today as my vocal mic. Um, and I really liked it a lot as a worship leader. And there was no wireless static or dropout. So what steps did you go through to make sure you're getting the right unit um, and setting it up right? Right. When I did that, I believe I told Greg, the engineer there, what my zip code was that may have made a difference. I know that sometimes when you're buying wireless gear, you have to put in your zip code to make sure that you have the right band of frequencies. And then I made sure that I set up all the wireless at once when I synced them and then tested it thoroughly. I think I set it up on a, a Monday or a Tuesday and came back and rehearsed, you know, using this as my vocal mic and having all the microphones on and testing them before I put it to use on a Sunday. Let's go look at the rack. Setting it up was really easy when they sent the equipment, they sent all of the rack ears with it, uh, as well as the um, antennas and all the cables required to put together the antenna combiner back there. Where's the antenna combiner? Uh, right there. Oh, nice. So we have a whole, yeah, excuse our, excuse our mess, but we've got an actual separate antenna combiner. So you're saying all the units go in the back of this guy, and then we got the two big antennas right there. Yep. That's what's, okay. So that's why, that's probably another reason why we haven't had any dropout issues. Yep. And these are backstage. We're not using um, cables to run fins at the top of the stage. It's just side stage. There's a wall here and it still doesn't have any issues. Yeah. Give you guys a sense where we're at. Here's the stage. 
So, cool. And then from the actual user interface, you can do all the programming. I like it better on the phone, but if you look at handheld four there, the, the bottom corner one, you can see that it turned yellow when I turned the mute on, and then I open it back up, it turns green. You can see signal coming in, the, uh, the AF signal generator. You can see that the antenna doesn't have any issues. You can see the battery. And again, all this information that you're seeing here is editable on the mobile app as well, which I really like having app front of house with me. I can keep an eye on the batteries. I can adjust the gain if, say, a teaching pastor gets really excited and they start clipping the actual unit. But these devices also have a ton of headroom with, with gain or a lot of dynamic range. So I haven't had to adjust the gain since I first started using the units. I just set it when I was singing at a loud volume and I haven't had to adjust it since. Nice, so that app allows you to monitor the status of all these units. So are there like uh, network cables in the back of these guys that plug them in or how is it? No, it's through Bluetooth. Oh, so okay, nice. You take an iOS device and you connect it through Bluetooth to these devices and then you are able to see all those things at once. So it is only one iOS device at once and at the time of recording this video, there's not a computer application. There might be in the future, but for now, you have to have a singular iOS device to view and edit all the parameters of the microphones. Yep, but we could, you know, we could put these in front of the house if we wanted to. It might be you know, convenient for the sake of just having that real feedback right there to see what's going on. But for us, we kind of want to make our front of house as clean as possible uh, with less, less devices by the mixing console. So this is what we went with. And then of course, these mics are going straight into our stage boxes right here, the S16. And then that goes to the Behringer wing and then to Ableton for broadcast. Thank you to Sennheiser for sending us these microphones. They are definitely getting put to good use in our ministry. And if you want to implement them in your ministry, you can find the links for them in the worship ministry toolkit linked below. And if you want a bigger picture, a better idea of how to find new gear, make sure that you have the gear that you need and not overspend on new gear when you're looking to update your systems, you can check out our Worship Tech Blueprint course also in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, quick note from me. This was not sponsored by Sennheiser. They simply sent us gear and we said, if we like it, we will use it and we will make a video about it telling our friends in our community. And that's what this is. So we generally don't have sponsored videos. We just have, if you send us gear, just do it. Feel free to do it. But we're going to be honest about it. And this was our honest take about these microphones. We're never giving them back. <laughs>